Hi, Anti Society. Welcome back to the Anti Social Planet. And today we're getting into some more spy family. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit worn out. I'm a little bit under the weather. Tis the season, I guess, where I just like constantly am cycling through different stages of being sick to some degree. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this and just having some fun times. We are kind of in this era of like half one story and half the next, very like episodic little mini stories within the episodes, which I don't entirely mind, but I do kind of want to get more into like the actual like main part of the story with like getting to know Desmond and infiltrating all of this like undercover spy things that are happening. I kind of want to lean some more into that and I know we're early on in the season so that's definitely something that we could get into as the season progresses but I think like the closest we've gotten so far is the um, hint when Lloyd was on his mission in like the laboratory that was associated with uh, the people that experimented on Bond. I think that was kind of like the closest we got to like anything that was really like related to the main story. So I just kind of want a little bit more, you know? I just want like some spy things because I really do love it. And I want some Anya because she wasn't really in the last couple of, ep or the last episode, uh, cause it focused on Damien and Bond. And I just, she's just such a little ball of chaotic energy and I, I want to experience some more of her. So let's get into this episode. I think we're focusing more on Yuri in this one, so sure to be chaotic in three two one go i'm still not used to the new opener i feel like we all go through kind of a you're not my real dad phase <laughs> with openers don't we like you get used to the old one and then when a new one comes in you're like this wasn't what i got used to I do really like the style of it though. Like the use of these like, I don't know, mirror images and stuff. And I was looking at the promotional poster recently and it also has that like two-sidedness. So I feel like that is gonna be like a huge thing in this, this part of the series is the duality that all of these characters have of like the slice of life, uh, just kind of normal, average people persona that they have and then the darker aspects which i think is like part of the whole series is like it has this wonderful comedic slice of life feeling and then it'll just shift really into like this darker stuff content like all of these characters have tragic stories to them and then it can shift back really smoothly like it doesn't feel jarring to be like, oh, these people are chaotic and silly, but also have these tragic backstories to them. So I, I feel like we might get more into that as like the series progresses. I feel like we're getting into some more like spy espionage things and I love that. Always clever. I'd never stand near a window in like any kind of spy thriller story. Looks so average, you wouldn't see, you wouldn't think that he is chaotic. And also kind of scary, like unhinged. Bad idea. Like they wouldn't think of the window. See, unhinged. See? <laughs> like, Yuri is, like, kind of scary.
I mean, the written word is pretty powerful. I keep, like, being nervous that some reveal of, like, you need to go after this person or this person is associated, it's gonna be Lloyd. <laughs> Even though no, it's, it's ridiculous. But, like, every time, like, <gasps> like, I'm waiting for the moment when everything, like, clicks into place and things get revealed. Unless he needs to see his sister. And then he will be like, I cannot help you. Those, look at those eyes. Scary, scary person. <laughs> Look, we all say things to our screens when no one is around. He does seem a little bit miserable, though. Very average day, maybe too average. Or maybe that's why he's interested in these, like, stories being printed. You know, like a, a very boring life that you need, like the conspiracy theory. <laughs> A change in routine. Mm-hmm. You can only put it off for so long. She knows where to find you. I'm just saying. Was there a dad there? I don't remember seeing another person. Oops, sorry. It's like the moment that I was like, was there a dad involved? My dad texted me. <laughs> How do you know you even took a picture of anything interesting? Like, you're gonna have to wait until you get that developed. But like, what if you just got the backs of a bunch of people standing in a crowd? That's what I'm saying. I remember film cameras. You can't just like take pictures willy nilly. You gotta like really frame it up. You better not be mean to kids.
Are you doing that just to get the pictures? That's just rude. I that would get to Yeti because he knows what it means to be one of those kids, right? Like that like can't truly be a kid. Even though he had his sister to like take care of him, but you know, he had to grow up really fast. It's personal now. I mean it was before with the whole like I don't want this like filth to be the same place as my sister, but it's also like I feel like more personal to like him and his experience. Something happened to his family. We were seeing a lot of pictures there. I feel like Yeti's gonna connect to that too. I was wondering if it was something with the mom. Better not be empathizing with the em the enemy. Are you not including all of the information you observed? I mean, if it works at the post office, that does make it a lot easier to, you know, send documents around. The dramatic music. <laughs> Is he really making his country better, though? Because, like, if he's making things up by staging this photo of these kids, like, digging through the dumpster, then what's he improving, really? It seems more salacious. It'd be different if he was like, let me show stuff that's actually happening in the country and get eyes on it that, like, maybe the government doesn't want out of the country, you know, doesn't want other people knowing that this is the state of things. But if he's fabricating it, then that's just, like, trying to profit off of a lie. understatement he walked out to meet them though props on that
I mean, there is some kind of consideration there. And the emotion back in his eyes there, like the detail comes back. And I feel like that's part of like the closed off nature of it was like Yuri being like, I can't empathize with this. I can't show that I have like a personal connection to the stories, that I understand the motivation, even though there there's like kind of an olive branch, you know, with like his dad of like, you know, he had to close himself off because he could see so much of himself in Franklin. But like, you probably sleep at some point. Oh my gosh, I'm just like waiting for <laughs> the shoe to drop on that one. Surprise visit. I hope they have the pictures out of <laughs> them being married couple. <laughs> like, why are you here? <laughs> he lives here. Something did happen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like how Anya's like that's what I tried I gave the reassuring pat pat it'll be okay <laughs> oh are we getting some more bondmen who definitely is not Lloyd in a costume. <laughs> is this really the time? I love how the art style changes. Like, it feels like old cartoons, and I love it. The white dove seems a little bit on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> we're just collecting women that seems a little bit This very kind way of asking that. <laughs> I 
justified. <laughs> Guess that's what's happened. <laughs> I mean, a fun little story there at the end, especially since I feel like the story with Yuri did kind of dig into some of those topics of like darker themes and stuff about like what has happened with him and his sister but i also feel like it's gonna make yeti more empathetic when he learns about lloyd and twilight and like his backstory of who he is like obviously there's gonna be a moment like i'm saying i'm like i keep waiting for like the moment <laughs> where it gets revealed and everything like starts to fall apart um but i feel like it shows that yeti is capable of having that emotional connection to people who have a similar backstory to him and like as much as he doesn't like it his story isn't as unique as he would like and that's part of the reason that he does the work that he does is because he knows that there are other people out there that went through a similar experience to him he at least had a sister and that's why that connection is so strong even if a little bit unsettling m most of the time uh, whereas, like, Lloyd didn't have that, right? He grew up without having a support system outside of being a spy and other spies that he worked with. So I feel like it shows that there can be that connection that Yuri has with the people that he's trying to find, even if it doesn't necessarily switch his mission. <laughs> I guess it would be weird because he didn't really have like a childhood so he's like I don't understand what motivates this <laughs> the difference between their reactions to this happening <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to go? You rented a, like a whole island for her. You can tell me they're not going to take her to the like the beach. message of like don't try this <laughs> yeah i don't do pools so i understand that feeling Already gone or never slept? Okay. I was like, having not slept is uh, not a good thing. <laughs> Kitties! Oh my gosh, we have a whole episode about cats! You know, just when I was saying that this is like, seems to be the structure that we're going with the episodes and I wanted some more spy-style things. 
Spy Family Delivers. I really liked that episode, honestly. I feel like Yuri is more of like a comic relief character a lot of the time. We've gotten some things with like the backstory between him and Yor and them growing up and why they have the bonds that they have because they really just had each other and they went through a lot of difficult things and struggled and had to grow up really quickly to be able to manage being on their own. But I feel like we haven't really dug into like his motivations really. It's just been like the, the, the gag of like, oh, he's doing this because he cares too much about his sister and like protecting her. But I feel like this dug more into like the complexities of that, of him like saying, oh, I'd never do anything to make my family sad. And like the seriousness that he takes that statement of, I'm doing this because I want there to not be a reason for my family to be sad. And where have we seen a similar thing to that? Lloyd with his backstory of like, he doesn't want to ever see kids be sad because he's experienced that. He knows what it's like to be a child who loses absolutely everything and has a bunch of turmoil in their life. And he's like, I don't want another child to experience what I went through. I want to be the last one. So that's why he does what he does. And it's very similar thing with Yuri of him saying, you know, he, he does all of this because he never wants there to be another reason for specifically his family to be sad. But I feel like this extends that out a little bit more and shows the empathy that he's capable of. Even though it didn't shift his mission, he still was staying with, this is what I need to do regardless of the emotional connection that I have, it shows that he does have that empathy and he can be swayed at least a little bit in being able to see the other person's story and what they've gone through and he can connect with it, right? With this whole story with Franklin of him understanding where he was coming from and why he was doing what he was doing because even though Yuri may not agree with the full extent of it, he does see where the motivation comes from. And I think that that'll be really important when we do eventually get to the point where people find out that Lloyd is Twilight. It's gonna happen at some point. I'm like, I'm on edge about it because at some point someone's gonna have to find out what's happening. I think it'll make it more complicated for Yuri than just, oh, this is Twilight. This is the person I have been told to find and I'm gonna track him down it's become something far more complex. And, and, and even like putting aside the fact that like Yod is connected with him, it's, it's gonna make just who Lloyd is as a person connect more with who Yodi is. Like I feel like we're building up those, those blocks to be more important down the road. Even if right now it's a little bit more on the like episodic and one-off kind of episode stories and even having like the fun little uh, Bondman stuff at the end and the like children's hearts or whatever that we had, the, like the stories of like what kids are like. So even though we have some of that fun looped in with all of this, we are setting up these important story blocks that are gonna pay off eventually. So I do, I, I feel like this is kind of getting into a little bit more of a rhythm with this season than the first couple of episodes, but we'll see where we head. The next episode, it looks like we have a bunch of cats and I am definitely for that. So I hope you enjoyed watching that along with me. You can click this playlist to go and see my crazy reactions or you can subscribe to me next time I post a spy family reaction and I will see you in the next video. Bye.